These people are trusting in their genealogy. They're trusting in the fact that they're a physical Jew for their salvation. That's what they're trusting. He says, don't, don't think to say, we have Abraham to follow. Christ said, God is able these stones to raise up children on Abraham. That means nothing. But to them, it meant everything. They looked on the Jews of Jesus' day, and many of the Jews today are the same way. They looked at the Gentiles, they looked at other people as lower people, as people rejected of God, as people basically who are like reprobates, and that because they're God's chosen people, that they get their pass into heaven because they're God's people, because they're a child of Abraham, because God made this problem to Abra promise to Abra Abraham. And we're a child of Abraham, so we just automatically get in there. And that's what, you know, a lot of the New Testament deals with, is that false concept that the Jews had of physically being a seed versus spiritually being a seed, and that, that whole difference. But when he says, bring forth worthy of fruits worthy of repentance, he contrasts that with their belief in being a son of Abraham. The repentance that they needed was to stop trusting in the fact that they're physically a child of Abraham and to put their faith in Jesus Christ, to get saved, to put their faith in the right place. That's the bottom line. That's what he's talking about. He's not talking about seeing some proof that they really believe and looking at their works. That's not what he's asking for right here at all. He says, bring forth fruits worthy of repentance. Because he then says, don't say this within your heart. It's their belief that he's challenging. But now after he says this, after he addresses these false prophets, now people come to him and says, and we will ask him saying, what shall we do then? What shall we do? And he, he answered and saith unto them, he that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none. And he that hath meat, let him do likewise. So now he's starting to teach them, love your neighbor as yourself, right? Do, help people out. After you get saved, after you get baptized, what should we do? Are obeying God's law. It makes sense. It fits. Verse number 12. But now he's going to get more specific because there's certain people that come to him that are in specific jobs. So these people get saved. Now, if you if you remember, we're going to see here an example of a publican. In the Bible, you often see publicans and sinners. Right? Publicans and sinners came to Jesus. And, you know, and, and Jesus was getting mocked and ridiculed because he sat and ate meals with publicans and sinners. A publican was basically like a tax collector. We see that uh, Levi was one of the people that, that Jesus said, hey, follow me. He sat at the receipt of custom. Custom was a taxes. It's like you know, customs, duties, right? He was sitting there receiving taxes from people. And he called him to follow, to follow him. This is a legitimate job that people can have. But what often happened that in people that had this job was that they would take a little bit more for themselves, right? They're the taxman. They had the authority to go and collect this money from people. So they were taking the, 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 the tax for the government and then a little side personal tax for themselves. And you see that in what Jesus said to him. He says, because when the publicans came to him, it says, verse number 12, then came also publicans to be baptized. Now, if they're getting baptized, doesn't that show most likely that they got saved? I mean... You, you can't see all of their hearts, but the, the understanding here is that they got saved and now they want to be baptized. They came to be baptized and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? Well, what should we do? We're publicans. And they're looked down upon and people hate them. So what does he say? He says unto them, exact no more than that which is appointed you. So as the tax collector, it's appointed unto them from their boss. Hey, this is how much this person needs to pay. This is their tax. This is what they owe. Go and collect that. And he's saying, don't collect more than what you've been told that they need to pay and just, you know, pocket the rest. Because that's something that was apparently really easy for them to do, and that's also why they were looked down upon, right? Because there's a lot of shady people out there getting that job, getting the authority to take money from people and basically become an extortioner and, and extort money from people, money that they don't even owe for their own gain. 